now <coughs> now we are going to discuss the another section of the population growth in we were discussing about the ancient medieval and modern so in ancient period we have discussed about the how the population growth increased at that time most of the population was engaged in agriculture sector because at that time the population the human being started to how to crop how to agriculture okay so the information passed from one generation to gen another generation so that's why the information because of that information affected to the human growth now in medieval pe period what happened in medieval period the agriculture started to taking the shape of business why what happened that because in european countries what happened because they had a limited land area because most of the european countries are coastal share coastal areas so agriculture and uh, in that time agriculture started to taking the shape of business and more emphasize on the trade and commerce so it was a, a characteristics of the population in europe or you can say another areas also the population was growing very, with very slow pace at that time the population was growing in a very slow pace why because of the high infant mortality rate high death rate and short life expectancy so these are the this is the basic thing high infant mortality rate mortality is is a new term you can say like a death both are similar terms mortality but here we are showing because of the infant infant means newborn babies okay so at that time because the medical assist was not developed so epidemics was spreading so because of these things the infant mortality rate increased high death rate increased and short life expectancy yes it's true that at that time the food was not adequate medical relief was not adequate and new food was not adequate because of these things the population growth was increasing but the pace was very slow the another thing is the experienced a considerable growth of growth and development of town and cities at that time in medieval period the growth and development of towns and cities was increasing why because of we have seen that the agriculture started to taking the shape of business especially in trade and commerce and these activity where will happen it will happen in the town and cities okay so increase in demand and supply of consumer goods especially agricultural products why agricultural products because this was the beginning of the uh, historical aspect of the human civilization we can say agriculture because in ancient time human learnt about the how to uh, agriculture uh, how to uh, prepare food how to hunt how to fo uh, gather food so all other these things which are related to agriculture activities so the primary source was converting into secondary source also so increase in demand and supply of consumer goods especially in agricultural products so end of the medieval period the population about 550 million in 1650 so this was the main thing uh, so in medieval period we can say that the population was transforming from primary sector or a base uh, primary sector or agriculture sector 
to in manufacturing or service sector but the ratio was very very low so because of that the population growth the pace of the population growth was very slow because of these things high infant mortality rate high death rate and short life expectancy in modern time what happened in modern time what happened that the population growth increased after seven <coughs> excuse me <coughs> after 1750 the population growth increased rapidly because of industrial revolution and medical revolution pushed the world's population growth industrial revolution in europe and north america created new industrial urban society this is the new term we can use new industrial urban society how it happened it happened because of the industrial revolution and medical revolution because of these things and you can uh, add one thing was also trade and commerce and development of town and cities so you can say we can in, uh, interrelated these things how new industrial urban society origined because of the trade and commerce town and cities industrial revolution as well as medical revolution so these factors pushed to create a new society we can use this word new industrial urban society especially in which area europe and north america okay so in a new industrial urban and society new industrial urban society what happened primary activities tech line yes we have seen this thing. trade and commerce town and cities industrial revolution automatically these factors try to pull down the primary activities those population who were engaged in primary activities automatically declined because of these things okay what happened when the primary activities declined or those population who were engaged in the population uh, sorry primary activities they tried to enter in manufacturing and service sector we can say in secondary sector and tertiary sector in these sectors they were not producing the new material or thing what they were just changing the just uh, just changing the shape of a uh, uh, any primary activity related product and then manufacturing from manufacturing to service sector to supply where the uh, the demand and supply found automatically service sector increased so manufacturing so those population who were engaged in primary sectors so at that time the population tried to entered in manufacturing sector and service sector because of these so automatically manufacturing and service sector population increased because of this what happened population tempted to migrate from rural to urban so this is the another important thing migration from rural to urban so we can see that the migration started from rural to urban so rural to urban if the population is migrating was migrating from rural to urban so it's completely related to population growth so automatically the population growth will 
increased in urban area and population growth will decline in rural area because of new industrial urban society so this thing so this new industrial urban created society affected by the these factors trade and commerce development of town and cities medical revolution and industrial revolution so all these factors pushed to create a new society called new industrial urban society in which area especially in europe and north america okay when the population migrated from rural to urban because of manufacture sector and service sector so automatically the per capita income increased so when the per capita in income increased automatically the living standard of the human population increased the another thing is the population growth sharply increased after 1900 in 1900 because of the these things also okay so this is the basic information or we can say that this is the and uh, basic information about the how the population growth increased or declined in a particular area so whatever we have seen this is the trends in population growth in ancient time what happened in population growth in medieval time what happened in population growth in modern time what happened in the population growth after some times now we are seeing that the population is increasing continuously very fast we have seen that after 197 uh, 1970 80 the pace of the population from 1900 we can say from 1900 to 1970 to 80 the population growth inclined very fast but after 1980 again the population growth declined if we say what is the difference between population growth and distribution distribution shows about in in a particular area okay either continent wise or country wise or rural or urban wise whatever but when we see about the growth so it means growth means related to temporal or we can say according to time period between two time period suppose from 1901 to 2001 or we have seen our last census held in 2011 and the new census will start in 2021 so from 2011 to from 2021 we will say another change in our country about the population growth it will be definitely the population growth will increase the population in absolute number will increase but the growth rate rate will be decline as compared to 